Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be finishing, finishing up the Siemens Sematics V20 drive which is our third video we're going to be making about and we're going to be looking at uh, how to con uh, have a, another control, a wave for controlling the frequency with the two buttons and we're going to look at how to do the multi-frequency as well setups and there's actually two multi-frequency setups we're only going to be talking about one but I'll talk you through a little bit about the second one as well which is the, which is called the binary way of controlling the frequencies and if you haven't checked out our other videos is about this drive which are going to be in the description below in the first video we looked at how to set up the drive, commission the drive and run it, run it locally Second video, we did the two wire, three wire mode, and I use an external potentiometer as well. So you can follow, find all that information in the description below. Also, all the manuals that you will require for this drive are going to be there as well. Before we get started, in IGS Electronics, we are the buyers and sellers in our industrial automation products. So if you are looking for any parts, check out our website and see if you can find what you're looking for. If you don't, definitely drop us a message and we'll find other part for you. And also, if you have parts that you no longer need and would like to get some cash for, definitely bring us a message across as well and we'll definitely come back to you with some form of within 24 hours. So, let's get cracking. <music> Alrighty, so the first setup in this video, the one we're going to be looking at is a uh, C a macro C and a 06, the sixth uh, macro C uh, group in, 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 in this drive. And the one is called external push button control. So basically in this, in this uh, method we're going to be using a, uh, a start stop button and also we're going to be using the push buttons to uh, change our frequency up and down. And for that, obviously, we need to change that uh, to uh, macro uh, 6. So, uh, to quickly run through you a uh, diagram that we are going to be doing in here, which is in here. So, obviously, you can see the DI1 is our stop mode, because yeah, we're still, we still going to be in a three-wire system. Again, we did that in the last video. If you, if you haven't watched it, if you want to see how that's been done, uh, you can uh, watch the last video before, which is going to be in the description below. And then we obviously don't pulse on, and you can see that they mop up and mop down. Those are the ones buttons that we're going to be using to change speed up and down. So uh, I already have done all the wiring and things like that, which I'm going to run you through in a minute how that looks. Uh, but the one thing we need to choose, obviously, we need to change a macro. And as you remember from the previous videos, if you watch the previous videos, you need to reset the drive to go for the next macro group. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing now. So uh, let me get that done, and we'll get back to it. And now that I've reset the drive and edited all the information and done all the business that required for the motor setup, so I'm going to change now to a macro 6 to do that again, hold it for 2 seconds, then uh, click it again and go for the macro you want, in our case it's going to be 6, press OK, now it connects to it, but called M to go back to the main screen and here we go, you have a change and you are pretty much ready to go. So let's try that out, so... Uh, Start. So the drive is on, and now we're looking for the frequency. You can see frequency is not there. Which one is my? This is my up button. You can see by holding the button, the drive is going up. I like we slow down in the end, and the next button. We will be able to go down. So basically, you are able to control your frequency by uh, pushes uh, pushes of the button. So it's pretty cool addition. If you were uh, if you want to do it like that, some people like it like that, some don't. So and again, remember, I am in three wire system. So uh, and that comes part of the uh, macro group six as well. So you, you are able to do that. Again, remember, all the parameters can be changed as you wish uh, 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 manually as well, but that's macro group additions, what they have then done in these uh, new, new, new Siemens drives, they're pretty cool. I like it. You basically don't have to do much. You just jump from one macro to another, just as long as you follow the procedures, which I already be outlined in the uh, last couple of videos. So that's pretty much, uh, you, will be, you will be saving the uh, frequency where you last left it, so... When you click it again, it will ramp up. The, obviously, my ramp up time is is uh, at 10 seconds. So let's stop that one. And uh, to change that, you can quickly go to the quick setup 
uh, clips for times so and you go in these parameters and this is where you can fine tune your drive and as you see my my ramp up time is 10 seconds and again all these uh, you can find all these what this each parameter means in uh, in a manual uh, provided in description below so the next one we're going to be looking at how to uh, wire up the multi-frequency oh and one thing I forgot to uh, show is the wiring as usual wiring 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 so let me just uh, tidy up the cable so the wiring again I got my uh, 24 volt Ooh. 24 volts coming to my normally closed contact goes through normally closed contact and this one after normally closed contact goes to a uh, digital input one and then it distributes the power to all the other switches and that could be from there on it goes to the start start sends the digital input two and then it goes to the next one which is my uh, mop up which goes to digital input three and then either obviously the next one goes to digital input four very straightforward you send the power to all the switches and then send it back to uh, send it back to the designated DI uh, channels, which are one, two, three, and four. Very straightforward. So uh, that's the wiring. Hope that makes sense. And remember, we are in a PMP mode, so we are linking out the uh, what's it called? The DC DIC with the uh, zero uh, zero volts. Very much you letting the drive know that you are in PMP mode. Alrighty, just looked back on the footage and just realized my camera was on a little drunk. So I do apologize for that one. Hopefully that is fixed now. So the next set that we're going to be looking at is a macro group three. And then, then a little bit talk about macro group four as well. The macro group three is, is a sort of a, a speed low, speed middle and speed high setup. So uh, anybody uses the digital input to activate the drive, pretty much enable the drive. And then by selecting these buttons down there, the, whatever the digital input you close, it will activate that speed, which can be set up in uh, 1001, 1002, and 1003 parameters. So from that point, you can you can do that. Uh, we, we adjust your frequencies, whatever you wish in those parameters. So the basic setup is in the wiring is is like that. So uh, it's, it's, it's again my 24 volt signal coming uh, a source coming to here to the back all the back of the uh, little contact blocks, and then they go through the contact blocks and go to designated I/O uh, ports there. So uh, it's quite straightforward. You activate the drive. And uh, by selecting speed one, that'll be speed two, and speed three, and all of these can be adjusted. And then, and then uh, you can have you select the switches. The reason I'm using the buttons because there's other functions I want to show you. But usually we use the, use that as a selector switches. There's a uh, up to 15 different types of uh, 15 positions uh, switches out that you can use. You don't even have to have selector switch. The one I have in here, you can have that one with selector switch that will activate both of the signals, and it will go. So with that, but that would have the, how this work, what they call the easy way of uh, doing the um, uh, multi-frequency setup. So uh, another thing I want to show you is if you activate and it, if you for this uh, for the CN3 group, the macro group three, you when you double the buttons, it will double the frequency. Not double the frequency, it will, it will combine the frequency between uh, low and me, uh, low and high in here. So I can do that in here as well to get that frequency so it's sort of if you mix and mix and match it will come uh, add them all up so uh, that that's where how you can get uh, the different frequencies by doing within with this method and uh, let's say you want more frequencies and things like that. and let's say you want only two frequencies but you want a uh, start stop uh, uh, wiring where you use a three wire system where your latches on so you can you can you can adjust any of those parameters as much as you wish you just all you need to do is follow the Basic, uh, basic diagrams, uh, basic not basic diagram. Well, here's a basic diagram of uh, explanation of how each in, uh, how each input can be programmed. You can find that in the page 177, and all the inputs can be started be started adjusted from 701 onwards all the way to 704. You can say change all of this uh, to whatever you want that when you want those uh, buttons to do. You don't have to just stick exactly in the uh, macro group. What that macro group says. You can adjust whatever you wish. They are just it's just Siemens preset them up for you, so it's just like quick, easy, get to go, get to go uh, system and things like that. But in any case, 
if you do want more frequencies you can go to macro group 4 which is let me just find the page here we go this is where you're going to be in a, selecting a uh, speeds in a binary mode and that's and that's the binary mode so uh so here it goes but by, by selecting any of these combinations of the of the bits it will activate those speeds you can see down there all set up in there how we set it all up as well as you can remember each macro group tells you what parameter has been changed and to change all frequencies it is in parameter group start is starting from 101 all the way to 15 and that's how you can use let's have a look is a zero frequency. If there is no frequency set, it will be always uh, default. It will be zero. So that's how you can get more speeds if you wish. So uh, that will do actually for this uh, uh, frequency setup in this video. I hope a lot of this makes sense to you. This drive is not is being absolute fun to work with, and uh, Siemens has improved uh, e the easiness of use to the drive quite dramatically, and I'm quite excited about it. And definitely, if you got one of these, you're in for a treat. And then it, it is a good drive, and it is uh, easy to work with. So other than that. Hope you liked the video and uh, smash that like if you did and if you didn't then smash that dislike let us know in the comments below what you like what you don't like and because because any criticism and things like that will help me out understand what i'm doing right and what i'm doing wrong and the next video in the next video we are going to be working on good old micro master which needs to be done and after that we're going to be working on release a good old new brother that's been released not so long it was a long time ago but it's one of their latest releases on on uh, on the siemens uh, drive ma uh, family but other than that thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video